I am Daniel Lukies and welcome to Book 101. Book 101 is all about the books that I read for the last 40 years and today I have my special guest. He is a best-selling author, no other than Mr. S.C. Goland. I'm glad that you are here, so let's talk about your debut novel. Do the recap of the book that we talked about last week. Yeah, the recap of the book that we talked about last week was um, my fifth book, which is Delusions and Dragons, and, and is my entry into the self-published fantasy blog off uh, for this year, for 2023. Interesting, people. If you want to learn about the book, the secret, or how Mr. Golden crafted the book, Delusions and Dragons, people, please do listen to our episode last week. So, Mr. Golan, let's talk about... The Dark Crown, The Soul's Abyss. Book one. Book one. Book one. Yeah. Book one is was was my first book. Um, do, uh, the Dark Crown came out in in twenty twenty. Um, it is it is a book that I'm actually going to make a permanently free to everybody from the uh, the start of July this year. So anybody can enjoy the book, um, and and just get into the series straight away. Um, the Dark Crown is is the start of a three book trilogy um, called The Soul's Abyss. Um, it's very much classic epic fantasy. Um, very bad bad guys, very heroic good guys, and and good girls as well. Um, a family in peril, um, the threat of a, a dark, an ancient dark enemy returning, mystery, politics, um, magic, and intrigue, and it it it, it really is a, a huge. It, it was a very successful book when it was released. Um, it's my best-selling book to date. Um, it also reached the semi-finals of the self-published fantasy blog off the SPFBO six, um, and it was also a semi-semi-finalist in the book blogger novel of the year competition as well. So it it, it re- it's the one that's w- one that's got the uh, the best reviews and made the most progress so far with sort of uh, help hopefully getting me established as a as a bit of an author in the fantasy world. Definitely, indeed. So, the Dark Crown trilogy. How did you craft it? Well, I, I crafted it over a number of years. Um, I I'd written sort of the uh, the character list about twenty years before. Um, but with with lockdown kicking in in early twenty twenty, I wanted to do something productive with my time. So, I, I thought there was no better time than to actually start writing the book that I'd been planning to write for 20 years. So, um, I, but I was stuck. Uh, I, I didn't have anything that sort of inspired the imagination and, and really got my, my creative juices flowing. But, um, I, I tend to use sort of um, random generators for, for names of things, whether it's cities or people or worlds or monsters and that kind of thing. Um, and it actually proposed, um, I started looking at different titles for books and this random generator on the internet gave me um, the phrase, the soul's abyss. And it completely and utterly um, catapulted my, my sort of, put my creative efforts forward it was it was it, it was like being hit by lightning Daniel um the creative juices <laughs> started flowing and and everything came from there so um within the dark crown it's sort of a, a land in turmoil with an unknown enemy we've got a, a family torn to pieces um and our, our main character Kaelden is kind of tired of trying to keep the peace as the world's trying to tear itself apart but um his life his life changes and there's sort of a, a whisper in the wind and a, a return of a dark enemy and, and the return of dark times so the the first of the trilogy the dark crown very much establishes Kaelden um and his his issues because he's he's a man who has made mistakes he's a man who is very flawed um but he's a man who's kind of determined to to face up to them partly because he has to but also partly because of circumstances and and other people pushing him to to make amends for his mistakes in the past so yeah the dark crown is is is, is received really good reviews um 
I think it's got an average of four and a half stars on on Goodreads and, and Amazon. So, and it's been very, very well received by a number of fantasy bloggers who've who sort of reviewed it and, and said that they like the characterization and the, the the dialogue and the chemistry between the characters and the, the magical world that they're in. Um, it is it is very much sort of a um, a touch of old old time Star Wars to it um, from the point of view of, of the, the type of person that that Kaelden is and and the people that he surrounds himself with. So yeah, but it it is all ultimately all about family and sort of the the legacy that you you leave as a as a parent. Very well said, Mister Gowland. What behind the title of your debut novel? Well, the the dark. I needed something um, that you need to have a thing, whether it's a, a ring of power or a, a, a throne made of swords. You have to have a thing within fantasy, and and I chose to have a dark crown. Um, but it, it's not the usual sort of crown. It is a living, breathing thing. Its origins are very much unknown, um, even to me at this stage. Um, but it was it was very much the way of sort of having a, a quite a standout title and a a it, it very much establishes that there is this thing that's coming back. But you you're not quite sure within the first book exactly how it's going to work. But over the series of the three books. Um, of which the Dark Crown is the first, Coven of Shadows is the second book, and, and Darkness Falls is the third. You you slowly find out um, exactly what is going on, and it's the Dark Crown's influence, and what um, people who come across it um, encounter, um, because it, it isn't always good. Yes, indeed, and according to Fantasy Book Nerd, epic fantasy at its best. Oh, nice. I love this, Mr. Gallant. What are the elements that you put in the study that make your readers really? It's the best. Well, it's 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 got depth and it's got heart. Um, and it ultimately it's 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 like all stories are about. It's a book about people and, and circumstances. And and like I say, Kaelden is very much a a father with a a a hidden past, um, which does slowly get revealed. He, he's made many, many mistakes. He's suffered a number of tragedies in his life, um, but he is a he's a determined kind of guy. He's he's not a superhero. He's not the best of the best, um, but he is a, a guy, a, a man of determination. So, within the book, he 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 tries to make a, a change and deal with his own struggles while there are far bigger, far more dangerous things happening within a world that he, he happens to be uh, drawn into. Just like Luke Skywalker gets drawn into the, uh, the the issues with his family when, um, you know, the Empire's threatening to take over the universe again. Before we go on, Mr. Gollan, I want to shout out my listeners according to my Apple chart. In Rwanda, I got number 44. In Tanzania, I got 52. In Canada, at 72. Zambia, at 100. Singapore, at 107. Thank you so much. In Libya, I got number 14. Mongolia at 14. Denmark at 18. Algeria at 35. Romania at 44. Cameroon at 68. United Arab Emirates at 109. Georgia at 191. And last but not the least, Jordan at 226. Thank you so much for supporting this podcast because this podcast is created to empower writers all over the world like Mr. FC Goland. So, Mr. Goland, what is the best highlight of no, the Souls of Bees? Well, really, really, the the majority, my my favourite of the three books um, is is the middle book. Um, just like um, the Empire Strikes Back is the best of the original three Star Wars. Um, Coven mm, yes. of Shadows, which is the second book, is is where everything starts to go a bit deeper. And you start to understand things and the world expands because very much within the first book, it's it's the perspective of, of the good guys. Um, the second book, Coven of Shadows, we, we see the point of view of of, of the bad guys. Um, and that was a huge amount of fun to write um, because bad guys are always far more interesting to write than good guys. Um, but the perspectives are are. are 
very equally male and female. Um, there is actually more female points of view than there are male points of view within the book. But Coven of Shadows is, is, is my favourite out of the three, just because everything starts to slide into place, but there's still a number of things that are unexplained. You, you find out who, who our main bad guy is and what his motivations are. Um, and all, also his his sort of the issues he's having to deal with because like with everything um everybody has their own challenges um and coven of shadows has has the biggest battle scene um out of the three books and it was absolutely the most fun thing within this of this trilogy so um yeah i i would say and also within the second book there is a huge huge twist um which i'm not going to ruin um <laughs> but it was a huge, huge amount of runs fun to write Spoiler, people. So, for the sake of the spoiler, thoughts of these. If we're talking about the highlights, what do you think the flaws? The flaws. Um, I I think in some respects because they were my first. It was my first trilogy. Um, I developed as a writer as I wrote. So, the Dark Crown was was very much my first book. By the time you get to my second and my third, I think I I improve as a writer. I think they they i i find my feet a little bit more um there's there's probably more depth there's probably not as much depth in the first book as there is in the in by the time of the third book um i think in some respects i've i've got more comfortable with what the what i wanted to talk about and what the themes were um because you don't want just want to write good versus evil good guys versus bad guys you want an element of of gray you want an element of moral ambiguity um because everybody is motivated by something and sometimes you you don't always see what that is um so i, I suppose the 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 floor is that the even though the first book isn't the best it is the introduction but um, sec certainly the second book is the most fun and the third book is absolutely the darkest um, because there are there, we, there are a number of characters that, that don't make it through um, to the very end of the book. But there are there are very good reasons for that. Mr. Gulland, the Dark Crown, what else you can say about it? What else can I say about it? Well, um, the, the, it, the book, the book ends very abruptly um, and, and some people love that and some people hate that. But there is a reason that it ends abruptly because it's um, we we reach a really key point in in the whole. Story. In the last couple of chapters, there are a couple of a couple of big twists that um, turn the whole story on its head, um, and caught a couple of people by surprise, judging by a couple of the reviews. But but generally, the reviews have been that um, it's kind of a, an ending that wants you to that leaves you wanting to find out what happens next, and and that's that's the classic cliffhanger. Um, ending that that um, does hopefully get get people into the into the series and and want them to make the make them read the rest of the books. Yes, indeed. So according to D. Evans, a superb debut novel. As you said, this is really one of your best book. What do you think? Why make this debut as number one all of your books? Um, because it was the book I wanted to write at that time, Daniel. It was it was absolutely the one that was at the forefront of my mind, and I I'd spent the most time thinking about and and you you've got to write what your heart wants to write. So at that particular time, the Dark Crown was the one the book that I wanted to write. So um, the fact I'm putting it for free via my website, um, which is segowland.com, um, means that I'm I'm quite happy to share it as a as a as a gift to everybody, but also as a as a way of hopefully getting people into into the the universe of the souls of this. If you describe your style of writing, what is it? Um, my style of writing is is probably realistic. I mean, one one of the one of the reviews that that was put out said there that they felt right away that this was going to be a me kind of book since it features a darker world juxtaposed by flawed but well meaning characters. So, um, my my books are very very honest and and but fun and have a, a bit of a a moral question about what would you do in that situation what would you do in a in a given circumstance would you have made the same choice as some of the characters in the book do you do you sympathize with their point of view can you see their point of view is it something that you you, you find completely abhorrent is it you know do you disagree with the way that uh they've they've 
changed circumstances and taken certain paths over other paths so i, I suppose it's it's slightly it's a bit of a moral quandary but my writing style is is fun and vivid according to what according to what people have said and i can't disagree <laughs> yes indeed so what did you learn from your w novel um, I learned that I could finish a book. That 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 was the most important lesson. Um, <laughs> I was, yes, I, I, I learned. Yeah, I learned that I could actually sit down in front of a keyboard and write a book um, and enjoy it, and it not to be a a laborious task. And and I found that I had fun, and I learned a great deal about about doing it because I'd 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 written the first ten thousand words about five or six times over a number of years. Um, but yeah, the main thing I learned was that I could actually write a book, um, and a book that has, has obviously received um, some really, really good reviews. So, the dark crown, which chapter you love the most? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, I think the, the, there is a chapter where where Kaelden is reunited with members of his family, and and that was that was. An, the, the most fun episode fun most fun chapter to write because it had to happen and it, it, it's very much um something that Kaelden isn't aware of and doesn't really want to happen and and the way that it happens is a bit of a surprise to him um and i had the, the most fun writing that because it it introduces two other points of view and um you you immediately learn from the the way that they they the family are reunited exactly what the characters of 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 the members of his family are um and it was it was just a huge amount of fun because i was able to sort of take take various qualities from uh families and and this sort of thing and, and i was able to put them on a page in a in an enjoyable and fun way very well said mr golan what are your struggles in writing um struggles crown? in writing the dark crown it was the, again it was the time um because i'd sort of decided in february to 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 January, February to write it. It was actually to get it finished in time for the competition, and I, I was very much um, writing right up until a, a couple of about a week before the deadline was due. So it was it was a bit of a bit of a rush time scale wise. I've learned a lot since then, um, or I think I've learned a lot since then. But we'll, uh, but yeah, the biggest challenge was the time scales. What I've learned since then is is to not be quite as as rushed even though i i kind of need that that pressure of a deadline sometimes but it was it was yeah definitely take take your time to get it as as good as you can according to miss michelle vass dark epic fantasy adventure how dark it is um, it's very dark because because a lot of people die in it. So it's um, it's it's one of those that I you, you you don't just want the good guys to stay alive right the way through. There are people do die in the book, and and there's there's dark um, points to do with sort of like I say, what would you do to protect your family? How far would you push your moral boundaries to to make sure that certain people were protected in the best way that you thought possible, um, and it is 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 anything justifiable against a, a given set of circumstances of, of wanting to do the the wanting to do the right thing yes very well said mr Golan. so can you please invite our listeners to buy all their boots yeah, certainly. Um, the best the best place to find all of, all of the information about my books is my website, which is scgowland.com, which is spelled S C G O W L A N D dot com. Um, like I say, the Dark Crown will be completely free from the start of June, um, and all and the rest of the series, Coven of Shadows and Darkness Falls, are very very reasonably priced at one pound ninety nine each. Yes, people, let's support Mister Golan because if you support him more books to come okay, okay mr Golan, thank you for your time thank you daniel see you later bye people see you soon <laughs>